You guys hear that munching in the background? That's my camera lady. I'm gonna do my best not to rip each other's face off today because we're starving. Let's get into it. So welcome back to another Freestyle Friday. Every single week, we're gonna cook it my way. Recipes are free, you know I keep it hot. So grab that pen and paper, let me show you what I got. <clears throat> Today, it's a sandwich day, but I ain't got no flipping tempeh. We're gonna kick it with a little onion and browns. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Freaky Freaky Freestyle Fridays. Today, we're keeping it real simple in the kitchen, mainly because we're starving and we need lunch, but also because this is a great recipe. Uh, I'm making a sandwich, as you've seen from maybe the title or the thumbnail. You could do this on a salad, you could serve this on the side of a dish, and it makes an incredibly simple, delicious sandwich. So I'm just gonna show you like a roasted veg, portobello, sandy, let's get into it. Today I'm gonna start with two beautiful portobellos. If you've never had a portobello mushroom before, try it, it's amazing. <laughs> you can do these on the barbecue, and just serve them like a steak, or you can just saute them up like I'm about to show you. You could leave the ends on, that is good meat, you could eat that. Um, you can just pop the ends off. That sucks. Oh no. It's a goner? Goner. Ugh. Here on Freestyle Friday, it doesn't matter. We don't use measuring cups. <laughs> I'm just gonna start cutting those in nice shanks. Shank, 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 shank. And these will shrink down. So you're probably thinking, holy smoke a roll. These, those are fat shanks. Don't worry guys, mushrooms shrink down real small. As you guys know, I'm not a big fan of washing mushrooms. I'm actually a big fan of not washing mushrooms. <laughs> When you wash mushrooms, they're like a sponge, you'll just deal with more water, more water in the pan, it won't saute nice and hot. So please don't wash your mushrooms. A little bit of dirt from the grocery store is okay. Well actually, you can get soy lichum diabetes from unwashed mushrooms. It's a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> I'm just gonna quickly dice this onion into a few little pieces. I literally just cut it in half, skinned it, and then just took the one half of the onion and along the side so you get these nice, beautiful little half moon pieces. Maybe a tablespoon, nice hot pan. I like my onions cooked on like a high heat. I'm gonna start to like caramelize those up a little bit. They're starting to sweat down. I'm just gonna add a little salt and pepper, just a couple shakes of each. Red onion actually makes the best caramelized onion. So to caramelize onions, I just cook it down, it becomes nice and soft, and then I add maple syrup and just <laughs> literally let it cook for a few more, just like a half tablespoon. So I'm a big fan of like, really cooked or almost burnt onions. You see that they're starting to char a little bit. And look how much they shrink down. So that's a full onion. For the mushrooms, gonna kind of start it the same way. A Little bit of oil, throw those booms right in. I like to cook them on like a medium to high heat and just keep them moving. You see the mushrooms are starting to cook down nicely. And we're gonna make these like a teriyaki sort of, just not like an overly sweet cause there's gonna be a lot of different flavors, um, but just like a, a simple sauce that we're gonna cook right in there. I'm gonna take my trusty Heinz ketchup. I'm just gonna throw a tablespoon of that. Three quarters of a tablespoon of maple syrup. About a tablespoon of soy. The last thing we're adding is just some garlic powder. That's about a tablespoon as well. Am I fogged out? You have to admit it guys, that looks amazing. Super stoked, so I'm gonna pull that, put it into a bowl as well. As you'll notice, I haven't even washed my pan, keeping it nice and simple. We'll jump right into the bell peppers. I'm gonna leave those in uh, either quarters or thirds. Same amount. So because we got the two sweet flavors from the mushroom and the onion, I'm gonna do this one a little saltier. I'm just gonna keep it simple with like a little salt pepper, um, maybe a little balsamic. And just, that's it. The peps are nice and charred, just like I like them. I got them on a low heat now, just to help soften them up a little bit more. And this is a last minute decision, but I think I'm gonna add a little bit of hot peppers just to add a little spice to the sandwich. Last step, I'm just gonna toast up them buns. A nice char of spinach. The more simple, the better. I'm usually guilty of going crazy and adding different sauces and mustards and mayos, but what I've learned is kiss. What does that mean, baby? Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a little sprout action. Spurts are amazing. If you guys haven't bought spurts before, really add like a really nice fresh flavor. And then I'm just gonna butter my bread with a little chickpea paste, otherwise known as omas. Look at this bite right here. You got the onion, the mushroom, the sprout. Wow, wow, wow. I feel like I say wow every time I take a bite, but it goes down real easy. 
Those buns are nice and soft. Flavors are working, it's sweet. I think that heat was a little clutch. If you guys are into that heat movement, just a little pinch really helps elevate everything. Be sure to try that recipe. Smash the thumbs up if you liked it. Maybe you're gonna take the mushroom recipe and throw it on a salad. Maybe you're gonna do the roasted red peps on the side of a stroganoff. Who knows? Oyster's yours. I'm just here to help inspire, educate, and spit some knowledge. Stay hungry, friends. Please tag me in your pics. I'd love to see you making the sandy at home. I'll see you on the internet. Oh well, Freestyle Fridays. <laughs> <laughs>